as women, uh, our emotions are always changing. And I have had a hard time with that. I am, any very, I am a very emotional person. And as women, I think we all are, uh, it's something that changes very often and at times it can be overwhelming. Um, I just wanted to share a couple things that have helped me in fighting for faith um, with ever-changing emotions. Um, we, there's an author whose name is Martin Lloyd-Jones and he wrote a book called Spiritual Depression which changed my life. Um, one of the things that he talks about is how um, a lot of our sadness and suffering is due to the fact that we don't know how to handle how we feel. Um, we don't know what to do with that. God created us with emotions and it's a good thing. We're able to enjoy Him, enjoy fellowship and laughter and sadness that's appropriate. Um, but also there's a bad side to it because we can get so caught up in how we feel that we lose sight of what's real and what is true. God is an unchanging God. Um, the Psalms are filled with emotions of joy and of sorrow and of um, confusion. But the thing that is unique about the Psalms is that they start and end with God. God is the, where they start. A lot of times we start um, with ourselves in how I feel. When I wake up in the morning, my first thought is normally, how do I feel? Am I tired? Am I bored with life? Am I excited? That's not the right place to start. We have to start with something that is unchanging, which is the character of God. So as a Christian woman, um, I have a calling to fight for faith, to believe, to live as if I believe the promises of God and to live in the image of God. I want to be a steadfast person, which is possible even with changing emotions. Um, so something that helps is uh, called preaching to yourself. Um, preach the truths of the gospel, preach the truths of God's word um, to yourself. No matter how you're feeling, Jesus died for your sins. That doesn't change. That happened in history. So when I am struggling with depression, that is a hope that I can cling to because it's real. And I know that Jesus is alive and that his spirit is present with me. So those things don't change um, no matter if I am feel it or not. Um, singing is also a really helpful way to do that, which is why it's so important to gather on a Sunday to sing the truths of God um, with his people. Because you realize, oh yeah, it's not just me. There's so many people around me that believe this as well. As long as I am focused on how I feel, I'm not going to get to the root of the issue. The root of the issue is, what am I believing? Who am I believing? If I am believing the Lord, um, I can continue in faith and let the feelings follow eventually. In Hebreos, capítulo 6, uh, versículos 17 a 20, dice, Por lo cual Dios... Deseando mostrar más plenamente a los herederos de la promesa la inmutabilidad de su propósito, interpuso un juramento a fin de que por dos cosas inmutables en las cuales es imposible que Dios mienta, los que hemos buscado refugio seamos grandemente animados para asirnos de la esperanza puesta delante de nosotros. Tenemos como ancla del alma una esperanza segura y firme y que penetra, penetra hasta detrás del velo. Jesús es nuestra ancla de nuestra alma porque Él nunca cambia. Entonces, si no me siento como, um, no me siento la presencia de Dios, Él está detrás del velo. Él está en la presencia de Dios y yo sé que Él está conmigo porque nunca cambia. So whenever you feel like you're drowning in a sea of emotion, 
you can know that you have an anchor that doesn't change. You can rest in him. You can look to him. And you can fight for faith, preaching the truth of the gospel to your soul. Even when it, you don't feel it, it's true and doesn't change. Thank you.